Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to test for a difference between uh, two sample means when uh, the samples are paired or uh, related samples. Okay, and so uh, basically what I'm doing here is I've randomly chosen uh, the cost of medical procedures from two different uh, regional hospitals. And uh, we want to test the hypothesis uh, that uh, of whether or not the uh, the procedures cost the same at, at both hospitals, and since they're the same procedures, uh, I guess you would think that they should cost about the same. All right, and so uh, that's our null hypothesis: is that the uh, the difference is zero. All right, and uh, the alternative is that it's it's not zero. Okay, so there's a two-tailed hypothesis test, and uh, yeah, you can set these up as one or two-tailed, but in either case. It's, it's better or it's easier to interpret the output if you put the larger mean um, as the first as the first variable range. So I'm going to calculate the means first so I can do that. Okay. So 932. Uh, 10, 12. All right, so we can see that they're obviously not equal here, but the real question is, is this difference uh, statistically significant? All right, and we're going to run this paired uh, test, this paired sample means test, to see if that difference is significant. Uh, so to get there, I'm going to go to the, uh, the data tab, and then uh, it's data analysis. And uh, if you don't see the data analysis in your Excel, what you're going to do is uh, hold the Alt key, type T, and then I, uh, and that will launch the uh, Add-ins Manager. All right, and you're going to want to check the first box there, the Analysis Tool Pack. Click OK, and then uh, you should see Data Analysis. All right, so I'm going to uh, click Data Analysis, and uh, I'm going to go and look for the appropriate test. And it's this, the t-test for paired two sample for means. Okay. Select it, click OK, and then uh, I'm going to put the, the variable with the larger mean as a variable range 1. All right, so that's going to be East Chibangawang Hospital. And uh, I'm going to put um, Podunk Hospital as the variable 2. Okay. Since I selected the name of the hospital, I'm going to check this box uh, that says we have labels. Okay, and uh, we're testing for zero. I I'm going to type in zero. You can actually just leave this blank if you're testing for a zero difference. Uh, if you're testing for some other difference, okay, maybe you want to make sure that the difference is at least $50. Um, you could type that in here. Okay. All right, so once you select the uh, the ranges, the label box, and the mean difference. Uh, you can change the alpha if you're going to test for some different alpha. I'm going to leave it at 0 0.05 and uh, click OK to get the output on a new worksheet. Okay, so it happens pretty quickly. And I'm just going to spread things out so we can see it a little better and uh, interpret this. Okay. All right, so... Um, Really, the only relevant statistics are, are down here, okay? So uh, they, they do calculate some stuff that is not really important. They calculate the variance of both, uh, both variables, and uh, we can't really use that for anything. Uh, so I'm going to uh, just ignore that. They also calculate the uh, correlation. Again, we can't really use that for anything, okay? So what we're more interested in down here is the T that we calculated, all right, in this case, it was a 4.2. Okay, so uh, essentially we're saying that, okay, um, these results are occurring about 4.2 standard deviations away from the mean. Okay, so pretty far out there. All right, and uh, for a uh, one-tailed test, we would only need a, a, uh, a T of um, 1.94. All right, and for a two-tailed test, we only need a T of 2.4469 and, and the rest of those decimals um, to reject the null. All right, so this was a two-tailed test. 
uh, we do have a T in excess of the critical value, so we're going to go ahead and reject the null that there is no difference between uh, these procedure costs at the hospitals. All right. The other way to have done it would be to just look at the p-value, and our alpha was 0 0.05. Anytime your p is less than alpha, you're going to be able to reject the null, and this is actually the lowest level of significance that we could reject the null at. So uh, a very, a very uh, compelling uh, result here that the, the, it costs more at East Jibangawang hospital. Okay, all right, so we're going to just kind of keep track of this um, this critical value because I'm going to use it to to do a 95% uh, a confidence interval of the difference in these uh, in these costs. So I'm going to go back to sheet one and uh, I'm just going to type in, so I'm, I, I, I sort of set this up in advance, I'm going to type in the uh, T alpha half 95% confidence interval. All right, it was 2.4469. That'll be close enough, um, you know, to round off at, at this point. I, I think that's going to be precise enough. Okay, uh, I'm going to calculate the, the mean difference here. Okay, so first of all, I have to calculate the difference. Okay. Whoops. So I'll take the uh, the larger one and whoops, subtract off the smaller one. All right, it doesn't actually matter, but I'll do it that way just to keep uh, results consistent. Okay, I'll calculate the average over here. Okay. All right, so on average, uh, it looks like our, our difference is about $80, so it's about $80 more to get a test done or a procedure done at East Jibangawang than it is at Podunk Hospital. Uh, calculate the standard deviation. And uh, the standard deviation is the same uh, as the, uh, the calculation you would use for uh, any sample. Okay, and I'm going to use the dot function uh, because uh, Excel or Microsoft claims that it's more accurate. The way they calculate with the new dot functions is more accurate than the old way. All right. Um, they left, or you can still use the, the you know the regular standard deviation function, uh, but they're recommending you use the dot functions. They left the old ones in there to be compatible with, um, you know, going backwards. All right, so I'm going to calculate the standard deviation here. Okay, and uh, so uh, just over fifty dollars, and uh, the standard error is going to be the. Uh, the standard deviation uh, divided by the square root of the sample size. In this case, it's 7, so small sample. All right, so uh, standard error of the difference is going to be uh, about $19.02. Okay, and uh, yeah, we can make these all money if we want to bring it into reality here. All right, and so I I'm going to calculate the the 95% uh, confidence interval of this difference. Okay, so I'm going to uh, first subtract off the uh, standard error times our T alpha half to get the lower confidence level. All right, so um, then I will add the standard error times the T alpha half for the upper confidence level. All right, and so then we can make a, a statement like we're 95% confident that the mean difference between procedures at East Bangwang and Podunk Hospital is between uh, 3345 and 12655, with it being more expensive uh, at East Bangwang. And um, that ought to do it.